so I'm going to exit now and the next thing I want to do is double click on the form and go to the area a section of this form where it says pragma region let's look for the pragma region I prefer to just un enter it in here okay guys the pragma end region right here that is where all the component definitions ends just right here so I'm going to enter my my variables that are initialized right there they, those are my variables actually then I will then initialize these variables inside my command button here let me just copy it right in here so if I double click on this here double click on that right here that's where I will initialize the variables but one thing first I need to find out the the correct exchange rate so I'll find that out and get back to you guys so back to the command button here this very button okay so those are my variables initialized with the current conversion rates okay so you can always verify this on Google now the next thing we want to do is to declare another variable and that will be for the British pound sterling now I'm going to be comparing or converting the currency with uh, British pound sterling right here declare my variable there we go and here the text box let's change the name of that very text box let's get the name of the text box there okay it's called txc combat so let's go back in there and that be, that's it txt convert so we then use an if statement to make uh, to carry out the conversion rate the conversion calculation so right underneath there so the very first line of code for the conversion is right there so all I'll just do now is to copy and paste okay this is for the Nigerian conversion rate whatever you enter in here is multiplied by the British pounds and that is based on if you select Nigeria in the combo box so we speed that up and that is the rest of the converter code okay so if you want we can just give that a try and see how it works let's move this in place let's tab it in place okay run so yes okay so we click on this and select whatever country we intend to use enter whatever amount and there that's uh, the conversion the equivalent to that's in British pound sterling and this is in Canadian dollars so if we close that let's see that okay you see it doesn't go so the system still has this in place so we now need to write two lines of code to take care of this exit and let's go back to okay we have the inside the close so we just need a converter make the text equals there that is cleared and we need the txt as well txt converter just clear it as all as well right there so all those now are taken care of so let's just run it and see how it works now the system runs we enter some value in there okay we need to select something yeah that's working fine okay that's fine there's nothing wrong with the system I did not select so though we do need to write maybe we should even enter code if it's not selected right so 
that's fine. Okay, right, that's good. Now the next thing, let's take care of another easy one. Let's take care of this calculator. Get it out of the way. Exit. Come here and take care of the calculator. So for the calculator, let's enter the following variable right there. Okay, we intend to enter first number, second result, and operands or the operator. So the next thing I want to do now is to group all of these buttons so that I can use one single event handler. So let's group them and give it a name. Let's come to property right there. And here, select the event where it says click right there. Let me enter button underscore click as my event and press enter. All right, now I have event and event for all those grouped button. I will enter the following lines of codes. Okay, you don't have to enter this. It's just my commented uh, trial, but this one seems to work because this wasn't doing anything for me. So let's see now. So I'm gonna run it and see what's gonna happen. So what I've just done is the most important bit is this sender. So when I click on any of the buttons, you should be able to recognize whatever data is on that very button. Okay, this is very similar to any other calculator code that I've, that I've put together. But this, I just want to use it as an event. So let me run it and see if it will work. So let's say yes. Okay, now just to try it out. Okay, we have... I think it's working guys. This is my calculator using events. It's working as I expected. That's good. Okay, so let's continue now. Okay, the next thing now is or well, maybe I should just take care of the clear button first. Let's take care of that. Just copy that. Come in here. Here's the clear, the C button. Double click on that and just take care of that. That's C out of the way. Okay, that's fine. Now we need to take care of. Well, let's just continue with it. Let's have a look at the operators. Okay, let's group all of these operators and uh, repeat exactly the same thing that we did with the numbers so come to the property there and make sure your event is selected then the operator itself I will call that arithmetic so just press enter and that's it that's the event handler for those operators and I intend to use the following lines of codes so this is the object that I've created in there then uh, whatever is entered in the text box is then double pause and uh, assign into I first number then we clear the text box and the operator whatever operator is selected is assigned here okay so let's run it now and see how it works although it's not going to carry out any calculation yet i just want to check if it's going to work all right that's working hopefully it saw the number 98 into the operator okay so let's try for the for the calc uh, for the equals now so let's come down here and the equals click on that all right. right here i think i call that i second number yeah i second number equals so let me copy this and just paste it into i second number all right okay and uh, we'll just use an if statement to take care of the rest so if the operator selected is plus 
and I want first number and I second number to be added and the result I result is then converted to string and assigned to the display and I repeated the, the same thing here the only different is it then become else if if it's multiplication repeat the same thing here and just change the sign to multiply if it's subtraction repeat exactly the same thing and division repeat the same thing that's it okay so if I give it a try let's just run and see Let's give that a try. Yeah, that is fine. Let's divide that. Okay, so our calculator is working and the currency converter works as well. So that is good. So one, two is out of the way. Okay. The next thing is maybe I should take care of this and this will become the last part of it. See this receipt, I want to be able to open a new page and select save, print and so on. So let's come in here, let's close this, go back to the form right there, okay, back to the form and in here, um, let me import as follow the following component or the following object. I'm gonna need save dialog. Okay, then now we also need open dialog right there. Okay, hopefully those two dialogs are in place now. Now let's come in here. The name of this I believe is RT. Yeah, RT B receipt so that's fine so we will enter the following lines of code the first thing I want to do is to be able to replace whatever is in here so let's come in here or maybe we should yeah double click and just come in here RTB there dot right now that let's go for uh, yeah we do have clear and that is I think that should do that yeah that works okay so the next thing I want to do now is come back in here double click on open and press enter enter the following lines of codes okay so let's see what happened here yeah I think I just noticed the name of my file is wrong really yeah that should do it okay that's good all right so the next one is the save so let's come in here all right double click on save save and that is it that seems to have exactly the same error in there so there so these are the lines of code to save have a good look at it okay as you can see whatever I save this is the default file name you can change it to whatever you like so let me just change it to can leave it the choice is yours okay that's the default file name and uh, when you save it it's then saved into a notepad okay and I've also allowed it for any type of file in there all right so this is the dialog it's going to show the dialog there, the save dialog and this following method is called if it's okay then it will save alright guys so the same thing applies to the open there's the open here from here down here there's the open okay 
we have save we have open so let's come in here and look at the next thing to do we have new okay look at this print let's come into the object and select and come into the tools and select two objects here the print document and the print dialog one two we need those two okay that's that and we need the print dialog all right that's fine so the next thing is to double click on the print and enter as follows for the print so you can see the print preview the document and that will be the print document one show the print dialog okay as the print preview dialog box will be will be shown then now let's come into print document here right there double click on that and enter the following lines of code for the print document object itself okay whatever i'm printing or the data i'm printing is inside the rich text box here and it's then uh, we now have a font for it as area that's the size of the font and the color is black okay and that's all there is to it there that's the print code here and here okay so let's have a look at it again and see what else we might need okay we have this and this let's double click on that we have caught let's see just copy this paste it in here and then we need caught there it is let's see if this parenthesis attached to it okay there is parenthesis so let's repeat the same thing for the copy double click on copy right there now we just need to enter that copy there we now need paste come in there double click on paste think that will do it for now so we have all of our instruction for our rich text box so if I run this program now let's see come in here let's try to open any file all right that's fine come to my desktop and just select anything that I have on board okay that's fine it's working as i want supposing i want to cut from here cut that's fine let's see okay let's paste what i've cut all right guys you see it's working as i want okay i'm going to save it now save it on my desktop that is it saved so that is fine okay now the next thing is to now take care of all of these calculations here all of the calculation will take place in here anyway so with that let me just call it the end of the second part of this tutorial see you guys in the third part